Have you been thinking about moving to Arlington, Texas? Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about three different neighborhoods in Arlington. We're gonna go through some price points. So we're gonna look at ones in the 300,000 range. We're gonna look at one in the 500,000 range. And then we're gonna look at one in the 700,000 range. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, stay tuned. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel, welcome, glad to meet you. My name is Wendy Pinnell. I am a local real estate broker here in the Dallas area with OnTrack Realty. Hey, if you wanna know everything there is to know about Dallas, Texas, you know, living in Dallas, Texas, sleeping in Dallas, Texas, working in Dallas, Texas, and most emphatically, finding home in Dallas, Texas, you're gonna to wanna to be sure and hit that subscribe button and click on that little bell. We have been in the biz since 2007, helping buyers and sellers just like you. And you know what? We absolutely love it. <laughs> we are a family brokerage. So if you like the idea of our family helping yours, you're gonna wanna scroll on down in that description section, find the Let's Find Home questionnaire, you know, or you can give us a call. You can drop us a text or send us an email. Any of those ways works. I mean, listen, we found our home in Dallas, Texas, and we'd love the opportunity to help you find yours. Okay, so like I said, we are out here in Veterans Park, and today we're gonna to talk a little bit about Southwest Arlington. So Veterans Park is a beautiful area, 103 acres, has some beautiful monuments devoted to those that were in our military. So I absolutely love that. Uh, you know, Arlington is in Tarrant County, right? So only Tarrant County. Some cities we've talked about how they'll be in multiple counties and how much, you know, that you can kind of strategize with property taxes. Well, not Arlington, you're in Tarrant County. <laughs> now Arlington is surrounded by Euless, uh, Irving, lot of Green Prairie side by side. It's surrounded by Mansfield on the south. Then you've got a little bit of Kennedale and a whole lot of, of Fort Worth. Right, so mostly Grand Prairie and Fort Worth. <laughs> okay, so you're probably wondering, what is the commute time, right? Because that's important. Well, you know, you can probably tell on the map, Arlington is very centrally located, right? So your commute time to Dallas would be somewhere around like 28 minutes. Uh, your commute time to Fort Worth, closer like 20 minutes. That's really nice, right? Also your commute time to the airport, just a shave under 20 minutes, you know, around 18 to 19 minutes, right? So that really is ideal. Again, in terms of location, just really ideal. Uh, highway access, right? Arlington has highway access, but really not as great as Grand Prairie. Uh, it has 360, 820 going north-south. It has I-20 and I-30 going east-west, right? Arlington is a huge city though, and what it's lacking is a really nice, fast highway, north, south, right in the middle. That would be nice, you know, so Arlington is kind of known for its traffic problems, right? But where we are today, we're gonna be really close to I-20. So these have a great location in terms of that. Uh, fun fact, did you know that Arlington is the seventh largest city in Texas? And if you look on the map too, you're gonna see that that makes sense. Now. How is Arlington doing growth rise, right? Because we did a video on Midlothian and we talked about how it was just exploding in growth. Well, that is not the case here in Arlington. Okay, Arlington is growing at a much slower but consistent clip. It's growing at about 0.18% per year. Now you might be wondering, why is that? Why is Arlington not exploding in growth like Saxe or like Midlothian? Good reason for that, it's mostly landlocked, okay? So like all of the houses that we look at today, we're gonna see that they're all built like in the 80s and 90s, right? Because that's when Arlington was in its prime. That's when you went here and you saw new construction everywhere. But nowadays, not so much. Now, the upside to that that you're gonna love, or at least that I love, lots of mature trees, right? Because again, all the trees are older because Arlington is landlocked. <laughs> all right, well, you know what? Next up, we're gonna take a look at a house that's listed in the 300,000 range, right? After that, we're gonna look in the 500,000 range and after that, the 700,000 range, right? Give you a good idea what kind of house you can get in Arlington, Texas. All right, so that sounds good. Let's go take a look. All 
We are out here at the Stagecoach Estates subdivision. And as you can imagine, just like I told you before, this these homes were all built basically in 1980s to 1990s, right? I mean, I can barely imagine Arlington in the 80s and 90s. It must have just been construction everywhere. Because you know, it's how old all of these houses are. <laughs> Anyway, this in this particular neighborhood, there is no HOA and of course, no new construction. Uh, homes were built here again in the 1980s to 1990s. The average sold price per square foot, uh, somewhere in the $165 range, approximately there, okay? Uh, if you look around, you can kind of see that there's large mature trees. And you know, I mentioned that that's just what a wonderful feature about the age of most Arlington homes. All right, well, where we are right now, it's got a nice little location. We're less than three miles from Kennedale High School. Um, we're also less than two miles from some shiny new retail. So that's always convenient. Now, the house that we're walking by, the house that's behind me is listed for around 323,000, 323 and a little bit change, okay? Um, it was built in 1987, no surprise there, right? <laughs> um, it's pretty typical of what you would expect of a home in this age. It's got tile countertops, laminate flooring, ceramic tile, uh, moderately updated. It's looking at the pictures, it could use a little paint. <laughs> it also has a garden tub, really nice marble countertops. And you can see again, those mature trees. Uh, so it kind of gives you an idea of what you can get in the $300,000 price range here in Southwest Arlington. And that's not to say all of Arlington. We're really just focused on Southwest Arlington today. So that kind of gives you an idea of what you can get in that price range. And not next up, we are going to head over to the $500,000 price range. So you can kind of see what you can get in that price range. All right, so stay tuned. We are out here in the Martha's Vineyard subdivision. Again, working on our vlog tour through Southwest Arlington. Future vlogs to come where we'll cover West Arlington and North Arlington. So be sure and subscribe <laughs> to our channel so you don't miss that. Uh, again, this neighborhood, big surprise, right? Homes were built again in the 1980s to 1990s. So no surprise there. Uh, this particular one does have an HOA. $125 for a year, right? We've seen much worse. If you watched my Grand Prairie HOA, you know some of them are like $1,200 a year. This one's only $125, so not bad at all. Uh, homes here sell, you know, an average of about $155 a square foot, okay? Uh, you'll notice you're not gonna see as much of big trees here, okay? Uh, this neighborhood is really close to Howard Middle School, um, and believe it or not, it is surrounded by six parks. So really nice location from that standpoint. Uh, the home right here behind me, you know, is a great example. It is priced at 503,000. Uh, square foot is about $150 per square foot. So if the homes in the area are priced at $154, this one's a good deal because it's priced only at $150. Uh, it's a four bedroom, four bath, two car garage, very nice. Built, as you might expect, 1987, no surprise there, right? <laughs> it's very fixed up. It's got the granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, really neat flooring, uh, carpet, ceramic, tile, and laminate. It's got your separate garden tub and shower. So really neat example here of that 500,000 price range, what you can expect here. All right, so what we're gonna do next, we're gonna drive you through the neighborhood, kind of let you get a feel for it. And from there, we're gonna head on over to our vlog tour at a house that's listed at 700,000. I think you're gonna absolutely love the next one. So be sure and stay tuned. Okay, we are out here in the Hialeah subdivision. Again, focusing on Southwest Arlington. We've looked at our 300,000 price range. We've looked at our 500,000 price range. You know, and this time we've taken you to the one that's kind of special and unique for Arlington. It's listed for 700,000. Um, anyway, the average age, guess what, of this neighborhood, 1980s and 90s. <laughs> Big surprise again. Uh, the average price per square foot sold in this one, $168 a square foot, okay? Um, no, no HOA here, no new construction, no surprise there, right? 
Uh, the, the neat, neat thing that I love about this area, this particular one, is mature trees everywhere. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you're location-wise, you're less than a mile to Wood Elementary. You're really close to the Harold Patterson Sports Center, um, and you're not so far from Wimbledon Park either. So really neat location. But you know, let me tell you about the house behind me. It's for sale for right around like just under seven hundred thousand. Neat thing about this home is it's on two and a half acres. To, you know, which is really unheard of in Arlington. You don't see that many that have those huge lots, right? Because Arlington is very strongly developed. Uh, anyway, so this one is priced at $276 a square foot. And you're probably like, hang on a second, Wendy, you said that the average one in the neighborhood was $168 a square foot. Yes, that's true. So this one is unique in that it has so much land, right? So it's in a neighborhood that, you know, that doesn't have, the lots don't have as much land. It's a really nice location though. It's settled in on a court, really beautiful. It's a 322, three bedroom, two bath, two car garage. It's updated with stainless steel appliances, granite countertops, right? But as you can guess, the real draw for this home is the acreage. So really neat, Southwest Arlington. Uh, I think we've seen in the three, five and seven range, get a lot of nice mature trees, okay? You get quiet areas, you get a lot of courts, okay? So I think Southwest Arlington has a lot to offer. You know what, and we are gonna wrap this up, wrap up our vlog tour. I'm gonna drive you through this neighborhood. And then from there, we're gonna stop off at Stovall Park for a brief recap. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Let's go take a look at the neighborhood. We are at our final stop of our vlog tour. We are at Stovall Park, which is a beautiful area. Again, we're still in Southwest Arlington. Yeah, what did you think so far? We've looked at houses in the 300,000 range, 500,000 range, and again, 700,000 range. Really neat, Southwest Arlington has a lot to offer. You know, and again, Arlington is this massive city, right? 400,000, almost, you know, between 90 and 100 square miles. So it's a huge city. Um, Arlington does have a higher crime rate, higher property crime rate and violent crime rate. Um, but it's one of those things where you don't wanna throw the baby out with the bathwater, right? Because it doesn't mean there's crime everywhere. Like if you, for example, like let's just say you had, you know, a city with a 10,000 population and had, you know, the really high crime rate, that you might worry about. But with Arlington being so huge, yeah, it's got the higher crime rate. Here's the thing, there are some great tools to help you know whether an area has a high crime rate or not. Family Watchdog is one of them, right? So you gotta check that out. All right, so anyway, we are at Stovall Park. Hope you found this housing tour helpful. We do these all the time. We release several a week, so you definitely wanna subscribe, hit that notification button. And listen, if you've got a move in your future, and you like the idea of our family helping yours, definitely, again, scroll down on that description section, hit that let's find home questionnaire, start filling that out. You know, whether it's Arlington or any one of the many, many subdivisions of Dallas, we know the area so well, and we'd love to help you get settled. So if that sounds good to you, let's talk. Give us a call, send us an email or a text. And in the meantime, hope you guys have a great day.